thought they were talking. Uh, I mean, one time, um, we had, see, I, I didn't want to fuss. It took me about three months to get this over to him. To do what? Get this over to him. His mother had told me he was like my lady man, Cory. And every time he'd come home, he would be so happy I couldn't approach him with him. And so I made a Washington pie. What's that? A pie. It's like an egg pie. I made it very big. had thick moran on it. I could cook any of them, you know. I remember this. And, and he, you call it a core pie? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now what happened? Now what did the, he, was, he was in, supposedly going? No, to, I know, but she made the Washington pie, and what did you do with it? Well, when he got ready to come to the table, he, he sat down to eat. He said, what kind of pie is this? I said, that's a core. <laughs> and honey, and we, we laughed, and that was the last of core. <laughs> now, that is the way to handle it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, you got rid of Cora that way. Yes, ma'am. Got rid of Cora. Huh? <laughs> that's a, that's that's called sugar coating. Now remember that, Sarah. I am. She's she's giving me a lot of advice. I've uh, never taken it, but she no, I have. Advice. No, I have too. <laughs> now you told us a lot of stories when we were young that I want to try to remember a little bit. What was the one about when you got saved? And oh, that, I love that one. Oh. <laughs> and the one about your husband <laughs> living with a with a with a saint. Is that what he wants? Is that what he said he didn't want to live with? Yeah, he didn't want. To live with. <laughs> he didn't want a sanctified wife. He didn't want a sanctified wife. He didn't, didn't want a sanctified wife. Now, when I I got filled with the Holy Ghost, I. I got filled one Sunday night. My son came in. He said a friend of mine had was tearing for the Holy Ghost, and I didn't want to go to beat me, so I started praying. And I was praying and dying. And I come back to my side of my bed and pray. And I get in, get up and go. To get in the bed and I go right back in the dining room and pray again. Why was that, Hattie? I, that was in Mississippi. I say, why did you do that? I was praying for the Holy Ghost. So you beat so you beat her to it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So I, I beat her getting it. <laughs> so uh, uh I, last one time when I uh, uh give up the last prayer I prayed. I said, Lord, I want something to die I want something that I won't be afraid to die. And then I died. I died. I, 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 I couldn't move. And I heard that wind. It was and when it got to that woman, he told that woman all the pieces. And I got up the next morning. You see, it wasn't one of torn up one of piece of glass on the floor. <laughs> but you saw it being torn to pieces. I hear it. I hear it when it tore it the, when, the, when that power came through that one. I heard it. That Holy Spirit, you know. Yes, God. Well, Moses. And and uh, he so uh, picked me up and drove me over on him. And way down in the depth of my heart, I had a doubt. And when it come back the second time, I come and said, I began to speak in tongues. And the light was going in front of me, and dark was going behind. It was pimp straight, going light going in front, dark going behind. Uh huh. Wow. And what did Henry say? I say, but did he see any of this? He was in the bed, but he didn't say nothing that night. Was so he awake? Did he was awake, but he didn't say nothing. But did he no. see it? He see? Oh, he did? Yeah, he see. I was like that. He threw me on the old bone him face. You know. Did it throw you out of the bed? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't throw. I didn't throw. On Henry. On Henry. On Henry. Mm -hmm. On Henry. Mm -hmm. 
And then there was another time when you said you were put on roller skates and rolled someplace you couldn't go. Do you remember that? What was that story? Yeah, I wanted to get to the bus line. I was coming to work. And I was five minutes late. Oh, and I said, heard Lord, this. I said, Lord, take me to the bus line. And it looked like somebody had me on each arm and I was on rollers. And, and, and I got there in four minutes' time. What? <laughs> to you about other women? She she woke up. She she said I had Sarah Ann on my mind. I woke up I just the Lord Sarah told me did. Sarah Ann. Sarah and did. that was when she was having a terrible time. I prayed her out of it. Uh, and, and me and another lady we were talking. And and cut in the prayer. Cut between me and her. Just like you know, just like somebody a child come up and cut between you and your mother. That's the way the spirit come in. He did. Mm -hmm. How about Sarah Ann? Mm -hmm. Say pray. Say pray. Now we begin to pray for peace. For peace? <coughs> I'm still working on that. <laughs> <laughs> so Hattie, what's another what's another story that you remember that, that is really interesting. What religion were you in? Uh, what religion were your parents? They was Baptists. They were Baptists? Mm -hmm. You grew up in a Christian home then? Yes, ma'am. But you didn't get that Holy Spirit for no, later, much I, later. No, I didn't get that until I was old woman. And you just had to pray, pray, pray for it before you yeah, got Yeah, ma'am. Pray. You weren't going to give up till you got it. No. Made you mind. Well, how did that other lady feel when you got the spirit before she did? She wanted, she got this, I got that Sunday night and she got that Monday night. Oh, oh okay. That's good for you, baby. And has it stayed with you? Yes, ma'am. Stayed with you. Stayed with you. Stayed with you. How old were you when you got it? She said about a woman. Well, I don't think it was that old, though. You because were, Henry was still around. Like 39, weren't you? Some. That's not an old woman. That's not. <laughs> that's quite a good woman. Well, so Hattie, what kind of advice do you give? And what what kind of advice do you have for Nancy in her life? Yeah. We're a little concerned about Nancy. <laughs> yeah, that's putting it on tape. We got this. <laughs> what kind of advice do you have for all of us? What kind of yeah. Pray a lot. Yeah. Nancy's a good person, but sometimes somebody people take out after her and try to do her harm. You used to tell me not to talk to other women because that they might do me harm. Remember that? Uh huh. Not to talk to other women? No, don't, don't, don't tell them you're fat. Don't tell nobody you're hungry fat. Your home oh. facts? Home affairs. Home affairs. Don't talk too much to other women about it. Uh, no, no, other women. Go see. Don't care how good your husband is. Don't, you just say, well, we do fine. We do fine, yeah. Because uh, when you broadcast it, that makes women get out of men. That makes them. you know anything, they movie star, Hattie. She's got a problem, hasn't she? <laughs> well, she's got to see and don't see. Yeah, don't hear. Think and don't speak. Aha, uh -huh, that'll be the day. That'll be the day. 
And what did Henry do on the plantation? He was a blacksmith. And was he able to do that up here in Memphis? <clears throat> he loved me. Did he what? like living in Memphis? Mm-hmm. What work did he do here then? He went to school. He wasn't he had out the ride. He was sick when we came here. Sick? He had arthritis when we came here? Hey, would you mind saying a blessing for everybody somewhere or other? Could you do that? Bless us all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this home. Thank you for everyone. Lord, bless everyone. Bless these goods. Bless them with good husband, bless them with children. In the name of Jesus, bless me as heals. Give us strength, give us wills, give us knowledge, give us understanding.